Uh, yes, there have. There have been milestones in the realm of self-driving and companies that are advertised that they're using thermal cameras. So GM Cruise uh, has advertised they're using thermal cameras for self-driving. We have uh, Zooks that also advertise using our thermal cameras for self-driving. At Estec has also advertised and uh, many other customers are, are using thermal cameras as an added sensor for self-driving. Well, I want, to, I want to go back to not just self-driving. You asked about, are there any big milestones for this year? The other milestone is uh, self, or, uh, automatic emergency braking. And so that's a little bit easier than self-driving. It's can a car stop in case there's a pedestrian? And that's what we've also shown this year is our capability with our demo car, which has radar and thermal and visual with an artificial intelligence behind it and able to stop the car based on a pedestrian in front of the car. So we do the end cap test pr protocol both day and night, whereas most cars today, they do very poorly at night. And we were able to pass both day and night. So night vision, currently there's about a million cars in the field that have our cameras in, on them. And what that means, night vision for automotive, is they present a thermal image to the driver. And the driver uses that thermal image to help them as a driver's aid. Well, the next step in night vision is actually augmented reality and AEB, which is use the thermal camera, add visual with that so you get color, and then take that information and input it into an ECU or a computer in the car and have it control the driving functions or, or the braking functions of the car. That's really the next step is, is raising that value proposition of a thermal camera and, and having it able to either stop the car or in some cases like the, the, the self-driving vehicles, have it, have it drive the car. Right, so sensor fusion is, a, is what we're really advocating here, is there's no real perfect one sensor. So visible cameras do great, radar does great, LiDAR does great, thermal cameras do great, do great. but it's when you add all those cameras together and you get a sensor fusion or, or a more redundant, uh, more capable system, that's when the really you start talking about a safer vehicle. Oh, good question. So. Artificial intelligence, or AI, um, convolutional neural networks, are used in visible cameras for many years now. And what this means is you can train a computer to recognize a person or a car, and then you can do self-driving or, or AEB with that. Well, you can do the same thing with a thermal camera. What you need is a lot of data, and you need someone to go annotate that data and then train the network or the convolutional neural network or the computer with the thermal data. And we've done that, we're demonstrating that here. We've done that with thermal cameras and we have the, what we believe is the largest annotated thermal database in the world and therefore we have the most sophisticated uh, trained neural network with our thermal cameras. So take that capability of machine learning and add that to self-driving, add that to an ADAS-enabled car, and you start to really bring the value up of, of thermal, camera, uh, thermal cameras in the industry.
Thank you.